Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to get your pair of pajamas like this, and also a slightly different way to file fold them. This would be a file fold for a very deep drawer, or for a flat surface, so on a shelf. Although, there's probably not that many people that would have pajamas just folded on an open shelf, but you might do, so we'll go with it. Okay, so obviously this one is pre-folded, but yours won't be, so what you want to do, ignore the bottoms for a minute, and you want to get your shirt or top like this and put it flat down on a surface. Now, obviously you can do this wherever you would do your folding, like I quite often do it um, just on the bed or in the uh, utility room where I do the laundry. Okay, so get it as flat as you can. Obviously I'm gonna do this quite neatly, but you know, you don't have to, I'm just showing you. So you've got that flat down on the surface and then you want to grab your bottoms. So if they were like this, you obviously just fold them in half like that. And then if there's this big flappy bit, which there quite often is with jeans and pajama bottoms, just fold it over whoop, like that. So it's just tucked in under there. It can be on top as well, it doesn't matter. So then it's flat in the middle on top of your shirt. And then what you want to do is pull one side over like that. And then the pull the arm back on itself like that. And then do the same on the other side. So over and then the arm back on itself. And then you've got this bit of leg here. So you want to put that back there. And then you've got your flat bit. So now you want to fold it. So I am gonna do it from this side because <laughs> it's just gonna give me the heebie-jeebies if this bit is out. But for my drawers, they're quite uh, shallow. So I would have to do it in three times, three folds. So you just fold it over once, twice, and then again, like that. And you've got a really neat little file folded pair of pajamas together. So they just go like that in your drawer, all lined up. And they tend to just stay, even if you don't have drawer dividers in them. So it's quite handy. Also, this is a really good method in general, just so that you can grab one pair of pajamas and you've got the pair and you know you don't have to find the top or the bottom and it's just easy. But it's also really brilliant if you have kids because let's be honest, <laughs> kids, you know, you don't really have much spare time. So if you can literally just grab a pair of pajamas at bedtime, it's so much easier and they can do it themselves. When you say, can you go get your pajamas out? They know where they are if they're labeled and if they're file folded, they can just grab it. So really good tip for that. Um, if you, obviously, if you were gonna fold them on a shelf, like I showed you in the beginning, um, then you would just do it once, twice, like that. Yeah, you would have the collar facing up like that, but yeah, you're probably not gonna have your pajamas on show like that. But if you do, that is how you do it. 